Today's project is a double walled small vase. In this video, I'm going to make a small vase which has a cylinder inside. When I display a single stem flower in a small vase, I struggle to make it stand upright. So I often need to choose a vase which has a small top. From that experience, I came up with this idea. This vase can keep an elegant flower's posture on its own. Japanese flower arrangement Ikebana sees the value of a void in space. In Ikebana, flowers don't fill the space. It sees the beauty in the void space and uses the balance between empty space and flowers in an amazing manner. I want to make a vase which can create that style. I use 600 gram stoneware buff clay on a small throwing bat. I'm making the center hole with my right thumb. Now I switch to my middle finger because I want to make a narrow hole. I'm measuring the height of the clay by placing my middle finger on the side. Then make sure I have 5 mm bottom thickness. My right thumb is pushing down just 2 mm outside of the center hole. I need plenty of water to dig the ditch down. It is a very thin wall so slight stickiness will break the cylinder. My left index finger is in the cylinder to support it, and it is very important to keep a small gap between the index finger and the wall. Otherwise, the cylinder sticks to the finger and it would be easily torn. After I reach the bottom, I slide the right thumb outwards to make the bottom flat. I'm making a straight wall using a wooden tool. Again, the left middle finger is slightly bent in the cylinder to keep the air between the wall. I'm going to stretch the wall now. My right ring finger tip is pressing the bottom of the wall. My left fingers haven't got enough space, so my middle finger is making a hook shape to compensate for them. The second stretch is the same as the first one. My left middle finger is doing good work to control the stretch. Water is especially important at this stage. I don't hesitate to stop for the water supply in this case.
I made a narrow sponge for this gap to take water out. I'm stretching the wall a bit more with a wooden tool. I can clean the internal surface at the same time. The wall thickness is good now, so I'm going to shape the bars. I want to make a slightly closed top. I'm skimming the surface. This helps to compress the outside wall and also clear my thoughts to find the right shape. I'm using a chamois leather to compress the edge. I cut a guide for the strings to cut. If I didn't have this guideline, the string would sometimes slip up, then leave too much clay on the throwing butt. The top part of the vase is a good thickness, so I only need to trim the bottom. Tap centering. Then use three pieces of clay to hold the bars. I hold the bars lightly to secure the position while I press the pieces of clay down to the wheel so I don't distort the bars shape which is still soft enough to be affected by pressure. I clean the surface with a loop tool first then make a small circle so I can easily position a milk carton cap which I use for a finger rest. This cap spreads my finger pressure. I'm removing the corner clay first as I want to have a soft carved bottom. I'm marking the ending guideline for the curve. Now I need to make a continuous gentle curve between this line and the straight wall. Both my hands are connected together. My right hand holds the tool tightly and navigates the movement. My right arm is heavily anchored on the wheel tray. My left middle finger is positioned at the bar's center and my left index finger is supporting the loop tool's angle. My left thumb is pushing the tool's end behind the scene, so the tool head can easily trim the clay using leverage. 
two hands combination is very important to make this job easier. Everybody has a different style. There is no definite right answer. I have to keep trying to find the best way for myself. I'm finalizing the appearance using a metal kidney. I'm scraping the bottom corner so this will be the line for the glaze to end. I'm polishing the bottom and making the center slightly lower than the edge. So the vase won't rock. 